the way play and I'm not going to show you my games and here's our first game Crafted Dial. Yep and I am also here with um, Armando. We are going to be reviewing some of these video games. Okay so we got Grand Theft Auto 4 right? Okay, I'm just gonna say it now. I'm not really much of a gaming person. I'm more of a person that watches anime and reads manga. So, yeah. Uh, so some of these games I'm really not gonna be familiar with. But that's why we got Armando here, who literally plays games all the time. Okay, here is Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, this game is obviously rated M for mature. I don't see why this kid has it, but okay. Uh, this isn't really my favorite game, to tell you the truth. I mean, yeah, it has a lot of, uh, like, you could kill people, hit people, crash into cars and everything, but I don't really see much of a plot to it, to tell you the truth, so. Yeah, okay, well, here's the stuff it comes with. It comes with a map of the whole entire... What, what, how entire, what is this map exactly, Mondo? It is a map you can go to. Different places in the game? Yeah. I see. Well, yeah, it comes with that, so you can know exactly where you're going in the game. In the different places, so. That's that game. Grand Theft Auto. Okay, well, I'll try to play it, but... You know, just, you know, I've been busy watching anime. <laughs> and here, speaking of anime, we got the Dragon Ball game, the new one, the newer one that's come out, the Sen, Sen, <laughs> sorry, I can't really pronounce that. But yeah, this is the newest, uh, latest Dragon Ball game that has been released, and I've been, I've always been curious about the Dragon Ball games. I've never actually played one before. I watched the whole entire anime, but I've never played the games before. So, yeah. Um, this one I have actually tried playing. I'm actually trying to play this game. But, I mean, so far it's good. I like it. But if, but unlike this kid... Armando, the one that's also talking in this video. He hasn't really been playing this game, so the fact that he's like, cannot read. If you can't read, don't buy this game. This, this game has a lot of dialogue in it, so... I'm just saying. So, there you go. But it's actually really fun doing all the fighting and different combo moves and stuff. It's actually really fun. Okay, well yeah, that's the Dragon Ball game. Really, I really do recommend this one. But yeah. Okay. Next one, we have NASCAR. You know, this one's NASCAR 14. Thank you very much for pointing that out. <laughs> Okay, so this one's just your typical racing game. It's just, yeah. So. <laughs> what was that? Do you, you want to add something in there, Armando, you want to discuss about? Do, what do you have to say for this game? Um, you do you win? Obviously, you gotta win. I mean, it's a racing game. I'm telling you, it's just your typical racing game. Okay. And you so, can't clash. Obviously, Mondo. Okay. And so here's the DVD. Has a little bit of glare there, but yeah. Okay. And then this is just the book, you know, it's not really much important stuff. And the of course can clash you, which is stupid. Uh-huh. You shouldn't really be saying that word, Mondo, but you know, you just do whatever you wanna do. Okay. Well there is NASCAR. And there you go. Okay, our next game that we will be reviewing is The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. I have not really seen a lot of The Walking Dead series, but my sisters are humongous fans of The Walking Dead. 
they've seen the series before, but we don't have cable, and so we haven't been able to see season five, and they're just dying because they haven't seen season five, while others are like, oh my gosh, it's so good. So yeah, they've been trying to avoid spoilers and everything this whole entire time. But yeah, they're just waiting for season five to come out on Netflix, so... Okay, but back to the Walking Dead video game. I know that it doesn't have all the, the same characters as they, it does in the show, but it's kind of the same, the same plot as the show. <laughs> Just a zombie game. Just... Yeah. <laughs> Shooting people and everything. Okay, but yeah. There, there's the Walking Dead. <laughs> Next one is Minecraft. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Minecraft, everyone's favorite. Well, not favorite, but one of, you know, some people's favorite game. Minecraft. Where you build and uh, battle. You can mine. You can mine? Yeah. I see. That mine diamonds. Oh, okay, I see. I understand. Okay, well, Minecraft is kind of popular. You could, uh, you know, te um, be in the game with your friends and battle and stuff like that. Build stuff. It's just a very simple game, you know. And there's that. Yeah. Okay. Next one. And we have Grand Theft Auto 5. Yes, another Grand Theft Auto game. Another game I'm not familiar with. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Let's just look inside. Okay, we got like a lot of stuff here. We got... This, this one's pretty heavy for some reason. But, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Here's the first disc with very inappropriate picture. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, yeah, that's the first disc. It also comes with the second one. I never really knew what the second one's for. But, yeah, I, I really don't know what the second one's for. But, but it comes with two of them, so... If you know what the second one, the second disc is, you know, you just comment, tell me what exactly that is. <laughs> okay. Well, that's another Grand Theft Auto game, so. Okay. Now we're on to our next one. We're almost finished here. Ah, uh, yes. The Hobbit. Lego. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's just another one of those games for the Lord of the Rings series. But it's a Lego version. Yay. <laughs> but yeah. Another thing my sisters are humongous fans about. I've never tried watching the Lord of the Rings series. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Uh, here's the disc. Here's the little things it comes with. Yeah. I'm not a really big fan of long movies. That's just the thing. Why I can't really watch the movies. They're freaking long. So, yeah. Okay, well, there's that one. Let's try and hurry it up. Hurry up here a bit. Okay, we just have two more. Okay. One of my personal favorites. Okay, Resident Evil 6. I am a humongous fan of the movies. I have all the Resident Evil movies, and I know most of uh, the video game players that play the Resident Evil games are probably don't like the movies, but I actually really enjoy the movies. I've never played the Resident Evil movies, and I mean, the Resident Evil games, until... We got this, and it's actually pretty good. The games are really good. But it's weird considering the fact that we got part six, and we have no idea what's going on, because we haven't seen the first game, or the second one, and 
so on and so forth. But yeah, um, I'm familiar with the characters, though. Some characters I do know, like Leon, uh, Joe Valentine, Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield. So yeah, because of the movies, so yeah. The Resident Evil game is actually really fun to play. I like it. I, this one's the one that I actually tried playing. But yeah, it's actually a really good game. So, And we don't know what happened to Raccoon City. Yeah, we don't know what happened in Raccoon City. I'm pretty sure Raccoon City was just basically how the virus like got, well, started spreading. If the city, I guess it's actually started spreading more into other places, but yeah. We don't know what happened in Raccoon City because we haven't played the other games, so yeah, we'll have to find out. We have a habit of getting games out of order. Okay, next one, the last one, is Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, this game was actually 20 bucks. It's actually not that bad right now. And for a game that's 20 bucks, this game is actually pretty good. It, you get to fight zombies and a katana. There's different awesome weapons in here. Yeah. Okay. And first time I saw this, I was cracky up laughing. Because it actually has the dude. If you guys have seen Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, you know what I'm talking about. It actually has the dude from that video. If you if you are less than uh, let's see, twelve years of age or thirteen or you know, thirteen or so, do not watch that video. It's just not okay. It crushed my childhood of Shrek. It really did. But yeah. Okay. Well, here's a Left 4 Dead 2. How it looks on the inside. There's the disc. It just has that. And Okay. And my sister was playing, I saw a katana, and I got the katana. Yeah, we're like... Fighting freaks. over Yeah, we're the fighting over the katana. It was, it was funny. I don't know what's up with us with, and the katana, but... <laughs> okay, uh, well, that is Left 4 Dead 2. And that is the last game that we have. So, yeah. Okay, so what do you have to say, Armando? Many last I words. I hope you guys joined it. Yeah, and you, you hope you they enjoyed it? Yeah. Okay, well that's good. Okay, well we're just going to go ahead and end here. We are trying, we're going to try and make more videos, if we can. But, yeah, okay. We'll be sure to bring you some more videos. I'll be doing my anime and manga reviews and my brother would be doing the video game reviews, but I will help him in these video game reviews. So, until next time, see ya. You want to say something? Say bye? <laughs> bye.